Our top story tonight on 6 Minutes, a remarkable product designed by a group of young engineers at Wethersfield High School. Paul Epps has the story. Griffin Latulop is just your average student at Wethersfield High School, except that he has muscular dystrophy. He needed a paraeducator during school to help him get his books until recently when he got a new device, the Eats. I sat down with Griffin and Eats designer Andrew to discuss the product. So, why did you design the Eats? Well, Paul, when we researched, we found that there are two types of wheelchair bags. They're either side hanging bags that are very low capacity and can only hold some things such as remotes. Then there are bags that go underneath the chair, but that's not very practical for people with spinal fusion because they can't bend down to reach that. So, the Eats has the largest storage capacity of any other product out there, and it's completely accessible because you can reach it from the side, unlike any other product. Griffin, how has the Eats made you more independent? So I found that now that I'm able to easily access my books and folders and other objects in my backpack, I'm less dependent on my paraeducator and my fellow classmates who are sitting around me to get um, such objects. And for example, in the middle of class, say the teacher told us to take out our homework, I would have to ask my friend sitting next to me to go into my backpack and rummage through it and try and find it uh, when I knew where it was, but it was hard to describe where it was. So during that time, I felt as I, it could be a lot less um, time consuming, and I also felt as I was being robbed of my independence. And so the eats here makes me feel a lot more independent, and it also uh, cuts most of the time that it would take for someone else to get the, device, the objects for me. Hello, I'm an eats. And I'm an eats. Eats, is not it an anagram for eats? Why it is. And did you know that indicatory is an anagram of dictionary? No, I didn't. Let me look at the no, dictionary. No, 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 it's fine. Just one second. Oh, oh, my back. Oh. Threw it out. So you want gauze or adhesive bandages? Tell me about the research and testing that went into the final product. So first we brainstormed ideas and we came up with a bunch of sketches on our whiteboard. Uh, we saw one design that we liked and we decided to make go for that and we made a quick cardboard prototype and we put on Griffin's chair and it worked pretty well. Uh, we decided to make a wooden prototype after that to see if it was able to carry the full weight of a backpack which was our real goal. Um, after we made that we tested it and modified it more so that it would be more universal and we tested on Griffin's chair and Paula's chair and it worked fine. Um, then we tested it with the weight of a backpack which is 25 pounds so we put the backpack on the back of the chair and it worked well. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. So that's our design, that's our eats and it solves the problem and we prove that it's technically feasible. Griffin, how would you assess the final design of the eats? I think that eats is an amazing product. There's nothing else like it on the market that enables to me to do what the eats does. There, hit, there is, however, one thing that I would like it to do, and that is for it to be automatic. Yeah, that's definitely possible. We're actually working on that now. I mean, we're making it as simple as just pressing a button on the side of your chair, and the whole thing just coming to you. And that'll be great. It'll be even simpler and even more user-friendly. Uh, and we're definitely working on that. And that's the future of EATS. That's, that's good to hear. EATS will surely revolutionize the durable medical equipment industry for years to come. Thanks for watching this week's edition of 6 Minutes.